comes from the Lord Jonah chapter 2 verse 9. Memory verse! Good morning! It's Sunday Club, so grab your family and let's have a look at a Bible story together. Today we're going to carry on looking at the story of Jonah. We're going to look at chapter 3 verses 1 to 10. But before we look at this week's story, let's just have a little recap about what's happened so far. I've got a friend of mine, Finder Truth, who's been doing a news report for us today. Let's see what she has to say. Good morning, my name is Finder Truth, reporting for OT News. I'm here with a sailor from Joppa. What can you tell us about recent events? During the prophet asked us to take him to Tarshish. When we set off, the weather was fine, and suddenly there was this great big storm. I was so scared. I thought I was going to die. Jonah told us to throw him into the sea. We didn't want to throw a puffer overboard, but we did, and suddenly the storm stopped. Remarkable weather goings on. This is Find a Truth with a local dog walker. Sir, what can you tell us about what happened this morning? I was walking my dog along the beach like I always do. When suddenly a great big fish appeared and spun my down to the beach, I couldn't believe my eyes. Remarkable. It's time for a game and today's game is called Jonah's Coming. I'm going to give you some instructions and you need to follow the actions. So when I say Jonah's coming, I want you to say, listen to God. Let's have a go. Jonah's coming. Listen to God. When I say repent, I want you to turn around. Repent. Turn around. Because repent means to stop going one way and to start going another way. If I say sinking, I want you to go bubble, 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 bubble. Bubble, 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 bubble. Just like that. If I say in the fish, I want you to tuck yourself up in a ball. In the fish. You can get lower than that, Jesse. If I say asleep in the boat, I want you to put your hand, head on your hands and to... Asleep in the boat. Complete with sound effects. If I stay stormy seas. You know what to do. You know what to do. Let's go. Stormy seas. Asleep in the boat. Jonah's coming. Listen to God. Repent. That's it. Turn yourselves around. In the fish. Jonah's coming! Jonah's coming! Listen to God! In the fish. Asleep in the boat. <laughs> Jonah's coming! Jonah's coming! Jonah's coming. Repent! Turn around. Turn around! Stormy seas! Stormy seas! Sinking! Bubble, 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 bubble. Sinking! Bubble, 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 bubble. bubble. Stormy seas! <laughs> Sinking! Bubble, 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 bubble. Repent! Turn around. Jonah is coming. <laughs> Listen to God. Well, I think we're going to leave it there. You might like to pause the video and carry on playing that game at home. Lots of amazing things have happened to Jonah so far. He's been thrown into the sea after a big scary storm, swallowed by a fish and spat out onto the beach. I wonder what will happen to him next. Before we find out, let's pray together. Father God, thank you so much for the story of Jonah. Thank you for what it teaches us. And we ask you to help us listen to what you say and do as you ask. Amen. This reporter has learned that the man spat onto the beach by a giant fish was none other than the prophet Jonah. Here he comes now. Jonah, what can you tell us about why you're here? God has asked me to go to Nineveh. He said 40 more or, or days and Nineveh will be destroyed. Worrying times. I can report the people of Nineveh do believe God. 
they have announced that they will not eat anything for a while and will change their clothes to rough cloth. This is to show how sad and sorry they are. Everyone is doing this from the highest to the lowest. I'm reporting from the throne room of the King of Nineveh. Ah, here comes the King now. Shocking news. The official announcement from the king, no person or animal should eat anything. No herd or flock will be allowed to taste anything. Do not let them eat food or drink water. But every person and animal should be covered with rough cloth. People should cry loudly to God. Everyone must turn away from his evil life. Everyone must stop doing harm. Perhaps God will change his mind. Perhaps he will stop being angry. Then we will not die. Powerful words from the King of Nineveh. King of Nineveh, what can you tell us about your recent decisions? I heard Jonah's warning and listened. I believe God. This, this has been a wicked place. I have given up my nice clothes on my throne. I will wear rough cloth and sit in the dust. I want to show God how sorry I am and how I have changed my evil ways. Thank you, sir. This reporter can confirm that God saw what the people did and how they had stopped doing evil things. So he did change his mind and did not destroy them as he had warned. God did not punish Nineveh. Back to you in the studio. Wow, what amazing things happened in Nineveh. When Jonah arrived, it was a horrible place full of mean, mischievous murderers and boasting, brutal bullies. But when they heard Jonah's words as God's words, they listened and believed and repented. Repented means saying sorry to God, meaning it. All the people and the animals showed God just how sorry they were for their behaviour. They changed how they were living. So God decided not to punish them and they were saved. Now, you and I have a choice. What are we going to do? What will we choose? Will we choose to live God's way? or not. God will save everyone who believes and trusts in him. God will save everyone who says sorry and turns towards God. Even the king of Nineveh. Let's pray. Father God, thank you so much that you are a saviour God. We ask you to help us put our belief and trust in you and to save us. Amen. To help us think a little bit more about today's story and what it means for us, we've got a simple craft for you to do. We would like you to draw or cut out a heart. I've found some red paper to cut mine out of. You might like to colour yours in. Today, we've been thinking about what it means to repent, to stop going one way and to start going another way. And so on one side of your heart, we would like you to write a sorry prayer and to think about something that you would like God's help for to stop doing something. And on the other side of your heart, we would like you to write a thank you prayer and to ask God's help for something that you would like to start doing more of, a way that you can live with Jesus as your king. So why not pause the video now and with your families, take part in this craft and think more about what today's story will mean for you. Shit. 
Peter in him will find a pardon for sin We've got an awesome Redeemer in Christ We've got an oh, awesome Redeemer come follow We've got an awesome, awesome Redeemer Jesus Let everyone know Shelter in Him will find a pardon for sin. We've got an awesome Redeemer in Christ. We've got an awesome Redeemer, God has given us some. We've got an awesome Redeemer in Jesus. Let everyone shelter in Him will find a pardon for sin. We've got an awesome Redeemer in Christ. Oh, we come follow. Jesus 